Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I feel like you guys are still maybe looking for your person here, spending a lot of time at home. I feel like the divine wants you to start imagining some new things in your life, okay? Because you're a powerful manifester. Um, I, I feel like a sadness off of you guys. Um, and home is like your happy place right now. You, this is your safe zone, right? I feel like, um, you know, some of you could be moving away too, but or maybe just getting a brand new home purchase. But I feel like... Um, or you could be sad because the person that you've been going round and round about in your head, they may be in a home situation with somebody else. But I feel like um, you're still looking for this person, like um, possibly waiting for a sign from them. But you're just, I mean, it's to the point where, man, I feel kind of bad for so whoever this is for. I don't know who the, yeah, because it's such an unfinished symphony. That's why you're sad, you know. You know you should be manifesting new things, okay? And new things will come to you. You're a very powerful manifester. Um, but you keep thinking about this unfinished symphony like you didn't get any respect at all. That's what I'm feeling like here. You, some of you may feel like, you know, why isn't my person loving me? Or why isn't my person coming towards me? You know, you feel very alone in this, but you're really not. You're really not alone. The divine is with you, okay? Um, this is a completion to a cycle here, and I feel like you know that. I feel like this orphan feeling, too, you need to change that around because you're, you're able to, yeah, I feel like um, a change is coming for you here. Look at all that's coming for you. Happiness, as soon as you realize what isn't for you anymore. And I feel like this, this orphan feeling is not for you anymore. You don't belong here on this stump or whatever this is, feeling alone, hanging your head. That's not, that's not the kind of life that you were intended to have when you were brought into this world. Is to feel like this all the time and go round and round in your head about somebody all the time. You were given life. In the 3D, you can do anything with it that you want, okay? And I feel like as soon as you realize that, as soon as you let some old things just kind of fall away to the wayside, everything is going to change for you, collective. Everything. Look at this. You go from feeling orphaned and alone and sad and constantly going round and round in your mind about somebody who isn't giving you even a smidgen of respect, much less communication, love, anything like that. You're hanging out in your home. Um, I feel like you're isolating yourselves. You may feel very lonely and isolated, okay? But as soon as you let... The things from the past um, just be stripped away. Just allow it to fall away. All of this comes in. A brand new loving soulmate. Somebody who's going to hold the key to your heart. Okay? Someone who's going to be there for you. Someone who's going to protect you. Someone who's going to be your ride or die. Okay? And all that glitters is coming towards you as well. You know, there could be a couple people around you that are wearing masks right now, but, but you're not. You're not. And that's what matters. You, you, you are not wearing a mask. You're not masking anything, not even your sadness. Okay? And I feel like you're going through this alone. You feel alone, but you're, you know, on the 3D, I mean, but you're not alone. Um, the universe is, the divine is watching over you. They're going to be ushering in all of, all that glitters. They're going to be bringing into you a, a new soulmate connection. You see the face of the divine here and here? All of this is about to change. As soon as you let this 
feeling go. You know, I feel like a lot of you are like, I didn't get any respect. I mean, I'm getting the chills when I'm saying that. And I've got two sweaters on. You didn't get any respect. You didn't even get so much as any communication. You got your heart broken, betrayed. You, you, uh, you were probably ghosted and abandoned here, orphaned, right? You, you know, in this journey, you've had to let go of a lot of people and situations that were toxic for you. Um, so you may feel like you don't have any other people around you right now. But that's not such a bad thing. In getting all the toxicity away from you and letting it be stripped away, that's when all this new stuff can come in. All it is is making space for the new. And the new life that's coming for you, collective, is it's going to bring in ultimate happiness. Look at you. You're not. You're going to go from being from from feeling like this orphaned to happy. Do you see what I'm saying? All you have to do is release, release some things that are no longer for you. Okay, release the things that are no longer for you because there's a fortune cookie here in the middle that wants to be cracked open. And, and once it is, once it's cracked open, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, hang on to your seat. You're going to be getting a new soulmate. You're getting, you're going to be getting a lot of abundance here and a lifetime because look, the divine wants to give you these things, but you have to give up something first. And I feel like that's what you have to release. Just let it fall away. And trust in the divine. They're with you. You're about to get your wishes here. As soon as you um, release the past and manifest the new stuff. Okay? That's what I'm feeling. All right, so... Let's dig into some tarot and see what's going on with the situation here. What's going on with this round and round? Why do you feel orphaned? And who is it that you keep watching for? Let's see what's going on in your person's life, okay? All right, Divine, what can you show me? I mean, we have all been in this position on this journey, feeling orphaned. Feeling like, you know, nobody gives a crap, okay? Seriously. And nobody in, the, nobody in the 3D really gives a crap. They didn't care about how you suffered. But the divine has. They've seen it all. And they're like, look, we're going to give you a little gift. <laughs> this one wants to come off of the bottom of the deck. So your person, looking at your person here, they're feeling pretty butthurt. In a way, they're kind of, um, I see them sort of mirroring your energy here. Do you see it? They're feeling upset because they lost their opportunity with you. Um, I feel like when, when you were a blessing in love, okay, collective, and when that came, when that blessing came in, um, this person turned their nose up at it because they were focused on on um, maybe trying to work on or fix another relationship. I'm seeing a page of swords here. I feel like this person is, there's someone hovering around your person, um, watching them think about what they missed out on with you, okay? You may be sitting here thinking they don't care, but there's there, they may not have cared when they hurt you, but they're caring now. Okay, does that make sense? I have to be honest. Because um, they didn't show you anything before, but now they're pouting about this. They may be trying to isolate themselves from whoever it is that's watching them. Didn't I say there were two people wearing a mask? Here they are. Neither one of these people... Trust the other one. This masculine doesn't want to be with this feminine energy. And this feminine energy doesn't trust this masculine. They just want to keep them stuck where they are. So, yeah, they are wearing a mask with each other. Okay? 
while you're getting you're going you're about to get your wishes fulfilled you're the only one here who stood in your strength and your integrity and you're ha look at yeah you're having a new beginning here you're about to take control of your life take the reins and run with it right you're picking up this wand here and you're like you're going to be thinking i've really been put through it I've been put through it and I can't waste my time on this anymore. I'm not going to allow people to play games with me anymore. You know, if I have to go it alone, fine. I like myself. I love myself. I value myself. And I'm going to go and have this new beginning. You're about to embark on a new beginning filled with blessings here. You've completely looked away from this situation. And your person, though, these two, they're both wearing a mask with each other because they're both miserable wherever they are. I feel like you're better off in this situation than your person is. All they can do is think about you while they're being watched by this Page of Swords energy. Like, the Page of Swords is looking at this person like, I know you're thinking about the other. I know you're thinking about the collective. I know you are. But I'm going to hover over you. You're not allowed to go anywhere. That's how this karmic is. I'm seeing this as a karmic energy. A very immature energy, okay? And they're right. Your person is doing nothing but thinking about you. That karmic's absolutely right. They're, they're missing you. They're realizing that you would have never hurt them. They're realizing that they... Uh, I feel like when they met you, when they got with you... Um, they were hiding a lot underneath this little sock hat. But you were honest with them. You would have never hurt this person. You're the one that they want back. You've got an innocent love about you. You didn't have a single bad intention for this person. You never did anything to hurt them. But I feel like they're with this Queen of Swords energy, Page of Swords energy. They're being blocked from coming towards you. This Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, this karmic, they know that your person um, wants you, okay? But see, this, this, your person, they could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like, um, or even a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I, I feel like this person is all about financial... Um, stability and giving to this to this karmic financially this karmic i feel is um codependent on your person and they want to keep them stuck in the situation even though they're miserable they'd rather be in the situation miserable than free from your person and broke they're really only in it for the money okay they're really only in it for the money um, and that's why they're both wearing a mask. And, and I feel like this Queen of Swords energy, um, she's, she's facing you. So she may have something to say to you. You may get a message from this person. But it's like they know that they're thinking about you. Because they're moping around. They're not the same. They're not acting right, this masculine, Right? They realize that they hate wherever they are, and they turn their back on, on the connection that they want. They turn their back on you. And you're all that they can think about is just getting back to you. But um, these karmics aren't having it. This karmic wants this person to stick around with them um, at all costs, because honestly, they provide for, for this karmic. They provide for them. Yeah, they want to keep your person working, and your person knows it. They know. They're feeling betrayed. They're feeling like they got duped. They're getting ten swords in the back because they realize there's just, there's no love in whatever they chose. It's all about their money. And it's all about them having to work and work and work and work and provide and keep going, keep going. You can't go anywhere. You can't go back to your soulmate uh, because we need your money. It's that kind of thing. This could be a mother-daughter team here that are keeping your person wherever they are stuck. Okay, yeah. 
I feel like the karmics know that their situation is about to come to an end here because your person is actually laying here praying for another chance with you. And you're over here, like I said, you're about to become extremely abundant if you aren't already. You could be a boss, business owner. Um, you're single here with nine pentacles. That's like all of this pile of money just for you. Just for you. And I feel like they both know it here in this toxic situation. The karmic knows it, and the karmic's trying to keep your person there. They both know that this is coming to an end. They know it. You can feel the dark panic off of this pile. And here you are out here, all beautiful, on the sitting on the top of the wheel of fortune here. You're about to get the wheels turning in your favor, my dear. And you're about to... <sighs> You're about to be so glittery that it's going to be blinding. I'm telling you. Yeah, you've got everything that you want and need here. The only thing you don't have in this position that you're in is that one pentacle that's going to lead to the ten of pentacles. Um, that stands for me like you just don't have a love. You don't have a partner. You don't have a commitment. Okay? Um, and, the, and you're, I mean... You're, but you're going from feeling orphaned, right, to being in the Empress and the Minor Arcana energy. Empress taking control of your life. Yeah, you've been building something creative. That's And look, happiness. Yes, Empress. Yes. That's, thank you. You're the Empress, okay? Um, you're about to be very happy. Some of you could be finding out soon um, about some kind of pregnancy. So um, whether it's you or someone else, but I feel like at this time, you're um, just be careful if you don't want to get pregnant because um, I feel like you're very fertile at this time with kind of everything, okay, with everything. Yeah, you're keeping your moves hidden. This masculine is praying for you. Um, they know they put you through a lot of heartache, and now they're suffering the heartache. And they're getting ready to pick up this last sword here. That's the Ace of Swords to me. And they're going to, I feel like they're going to cut out this karmic and come and talk to you, their empress, their star, their temperance angel, because they're in love with you. Look, they're secretly in love with you. This person has been wearing a mask, okay? They haven't been honest about how they feel about you. This person's in love with you. And the karmic has been, has been wearing a mask because they've only been wanting your person for money. This, person, this masculine is a workhorse in this commitment here or whatever they've got going on with this karmic. Yeah, your person knows that um, they're in love with you. They're in love with you. They've been hiding how they feel. Everybody in this situation over here has been hiding something, I'm telling you, but those masks are about to come off. Then judgment call, yeah, everything is about to come out in the open. Look, the masks that these two are wearing are about to come off. Everything's about to come out into the open here. All right, so give me one more for the collective. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. You're going to hear from this person. Um, they may show up at your house with a little gift. They may text you, send you an email, a phone call. Just This is like beginning stage stuff, right? Hey, I know it's been a long time and everything, and I know what I did to you, but um, can we please talk? Yeah, they're making a judgment call here. They want to be with you. They don't want to wear the mask anymore. They know they're being betrayed here. Um, they know for a fact that it's all about money, that there's no love in, in whatever it is that they chose over you. And so um, this person's coming to their earth angel, the empress, the star. I mean, you're freaking everything here for a new beginning in love. They want um, they want the secret. That Ace of Cups there that the Divine was trying to give them, now they want it back. They want it back. They want you back. You're all that they can think about. <laughs> I don't know, my throat just did a weird thing there. Uh, they're getting ready to talk, okay? 
opening up their throat chakra. <laughs> All right, so what else can you show me here? <laughs> yeah, they want it all with you. They want they want everything with you. You know, Ten of Pentacles out here. I feel like this person sees forever with you, okay? And they're about to take some kind of action. King of Wands energy. This person could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I've got Pisces out here. Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio, heavy on Scorpio. Um, yeah, they want this new beginning. You know, this person, um, when they come forward, if you allow them to talk to you, they're going to tell you they want this new beginning. They may want to share some passion with you. So, like I said, okay, I tried to give you that warning be very careful if you don't want to get pregnant because you're very fertile at this time. You're very, very fertile, okay? And this person's going to want to share passion with you, I feel. Some of you could already be pregnant here. Possibly with somebody else, this King of Wands energy. There's a couple different scenarios here that I'm seeing. You could be with somebody else already. But, um, yeah, I'm still seeing this person coming towards you. They go from a King of Pentacles energy down to a page to approach you, the Empress. All right. Clarify this. Thank you. Yeah, you could already be dating somebody new. Who's stealing you away from, from your person. I don't like that um, this, you know, this could be also somebody who, be very careful, okay? Because I'm actually seeing somebody out here now with an STD. What is this page of wands? Be very, very careful. I feel like some of you could be, for just some of you, you could be sharing some passion with somebody else. Um, and somebody here is either going to get pregnant or somebody may have an STD. But yeah, I'm seeing this person over here, your person from your past, they're coming towards you. They're being led to come towards you, okay? I feel like this person here is, has learned a lesson. I feel like they want to try to heal it with you. You may have already um, found new love here. But this new person you should probably be careful with, if that's the case. For others of you, it's just that your person wants this new beginning. They may ask you on a date. They may want to take you out. They may bring you a gift. I feel like this person may do everything that they can to get you back. Clarify this page of wands and the seven of swords. I don't like that. So you may have two choices in love here. Um, but I'm seeing somebody very immature too who might possibly want to just take from you because you are very abundant. I'm not feeling like it's your person from your past, though, I gotta say. This this twin flame, I feel like it's somebody, di somebody different, somebody new. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I feel like this is your masculine here who's going to have to leave behind everything that they've worked for, invested in, in this toxic situation in order to come to you. They're going to pick up this one pentacle here that's laying in the dirt and bring it to you. Finally, they're making a decision. They're choosing their path here. But you may have another option around you already. But I don't, I really don't like this uh, Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like somebody somebody new may be trying to approach you here or 
have some kind of passionate new beginning with you, but I feel like they're only doing it because of your abundance. I feel like they may be using you. They may even try to get you pregnant. They may want to try to get you pregnant just to keep you. Yeah, this person's in and out. Player activity here. We've got all of the wands. So be careful for anybody coming towards you that just um, wants to use you for money. They may want to get you pregnant in order to pin you down. You've got two people here. I feel like it's someone new, a possible fire sign. And I feel like this person over here coming towards you, they're coming towards you with a legit offer, this masculine. Yeah, you've got two people here. This is for someone, not for all of you. But somebody here may want to get you pregnant. Or um, they could even have an STD. So please be very careful at this time, guys. And I feel like um, I feel like if you get with somebody new, your person is just going to fall apart because they want to reunite. They want this new beginning with you. They're having tower moment after tower moment after tower moment, and I feel like this karmic situation is coming to an end too. Yeah, they're, you're about to get a love offer from this person from your past here. I feel like there may be another person around you, though, that's trying to use you and get you all tied up so that you can't go anywhere so that they can keep uh, living off of your abundance. So be very careful, okay? But this person from your past, they're coming in. They're co uh, you've got two people here coming at you. One is going to be fairly pushy. I feel like they're this new person, they're not going to leave you alone. They're going to want to pin you down. And this person from your past, they're just, um, they're falling apart. They, they, all they want is you. All That's all they want is you. They want this new beginning. They want to reunite. This person, I feel like they're thinking about proposing here. And they've learned a lesson from uh, whatever they did. They've learned their lesson. This person I'm, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, I can see the and, the, and the Knight of Cups, I can see this as a proposal. Yeah, but you've got, you got somebody else over here in bad energy, so please be careful with anybody who comes your way, okay? 